It's a beautiful family you have there. Hey there, hi there, ho there, and happy Valentine's Day. The day of love is upon us. Today we are watching the 2009 remake, My Bloody Valentine, 3D. I mean, like, we're not watching it in 3D, but it also came out in 3D, My Bloody Valentine 3D. If you have been watching these movie reactions, then you know that I instantly fell in love with My Bloody Valentine, the original from 1981. I'll put the link for that movie reaction up above and down below in the description. But that movie just had me. The beginning, the middle, the end, the characters, it was scary, I loved it. The twist at the end, stop it. My job is actually sending me to Los Angeles. This thing. We'll see how long this lasts. Anyway, my job is sending me to Los Angeles and it just so happens that a My Bloody Valentine board game and novelization are both being launched and several members of that original cast will also be there for pictures and autographs and all of the things. So I could not be more excited. That, however, is the 1981 original. Today we are watching the 2009 remake. I'll be honest, I saw this back when it came out in 2009. I remember nothing because I honestly hated it. I'm revisiting it now because I want to know how closely it actually resembles the original. Did they follow the same story? Do we have the same twist at the end? Is the main character named Sarah? I just need to know. What I do remember is this stars Jamie King, and I'm pretty sure the guy from Supernatural, who also more recently was on The Boys. I forgot his name. I apologize. So anyway, if you are watching this video and you are liking this video and you're commenting on this video, then please subscribe to my page and turn on notifications so you can be reminded of when I do these ridiculous things. We got our pink lights. I got my pink sweater. I am ready to have my heart broken. All right, now as far as remakes go, I'm not sure if this is going to be like a Black Christmas experience where the remake is fun and gory and ridiculous, or if we're going to get like the Silent Night remake that actually also stars Jamie King, where I was relentlessly bored and hated every character. Like there was no, there was no fun to be had for me. I'm hoping we get the Black Christmas and not the Silent Night. Anyway, without further whatever, this is my reaction to the 2009 horror remake, My Bloody Valentine. I can't watch a movie with dry hands. Hour and 41 minutes? I didn't think it would be this long. <sighs> We're not sure what caused the collapse. Our boys were working the north end of Turtle 5 when she gave, but I can... I'm sorry. <sighs> that was egregiously loud. That was disrespectfully loud. <sighs> okay, well, let's, let's resume. Don't, don't do that again. Sure you. Oh, right, it's got, um, it's got, what's his face? Uh, um, Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins is in this. I remember now. This is very, this probably was super cool in 3D, I can tell. We're all killed by the flood. Harry Warden, Lone Survivor. Okay, so we still have Harry Warden. So in the first movie, Harry Warden was more of like a red herring because he did do some bad stuff, but the whole movie suggests that he has like escaped and he's come back and these kids are like, he's not real and whatever. At the end, you get the twist that Harry Warden actually died several years ago and that one of the kids is responsible. I'm saying kids. They were like in their mid to late 20s. And it was a really good twist. So this is saying that he like went on a murderous rampage, killed the other miners to conserve his air, and then fell into a coma. Okay. Rescue train is down below. Okay. You've been in the methane at five, right? The methane levels. That's what it was in the first one. Someone didn't check the methane levels. He woke up. Nurse, he woke up. Nurse, he woke, he woke up, nurse. How did you walk into the room and not notice that he was not there? Oh. That's a little ridiculous that she walked into the room and walked right past that man, that murderer, and didn't see him. Oh no. Bloody Valentine. Well, so I guess this is kind of combining the this, the two stories of the original because it did say that Harry Warden in the first one like got out and killed the people responsible, but not after his coma. This is adding a coma into the into the mix. Ah, uh, body parts everywhere. 
Oh my gosh, are you some kind of jaded sheriff? Because you're acting very nonchalant. The blood is fresh. Oh. Happy fucking Valentine's Day. Happy fucking Valentine's Day. Harry Warden's in a coma. Guess he woke up. Yeah, you're in his room. Is he there? Oh, um, Kerr Smith? Kerr? Care? Final destination. Come on, Irene. Come on, Irene. I told you I gotta wait for Sarah and Tom. We have a Sarah. We got a quick glimpse of Tom. So is he the one who didn't check the methane levels? Like, is he the reason Harry Warden got buried down in the mine with the other people? Like, is this his fault? <laughs> Yay! Oh, Jamie King was so young. They're all so young! That's only 12 years ago, but still. Supernatural has barely aged. You ready to party? Oh yeah. You ready to party? No one says that. Oh, it's written by Tom, Todd Farmer. I don't love his writing. Like, I feel like he writes lots of, like, my shirt's off and I'm being attacked, like that kind of thing. Directed by Patrick, um, Lucia, is that even how you pronounce his name? That someone's gonna jump out. The light smashing is in the original. Her going, ah, was a little stupid. I, but maybe that's what we're going for. Lots of gore, lots of stupid. So many dead bodies. Yeah, sh shut, shut the hell up, Jamie King. Jamie King, shut up. Oh no, sir. Hello? If he turns around, he, he's gonna see them. Jason, is that you? No, it's not Jason. <laughs> you guys could have just stayed. You guys were fine. <laughs> ah, pew. I mean, they took that kill from wrong turn. Faster! Faster! Y'all aren't even going fast. <laughs> Probably super cool in 3D. <laughs> Lean back! Oh my god. Lean back! Lean back! Wow. Abandoned. So far this is kind of, like, it's stupid, it's fun enough. I wish they had made the characters not, this is what my thing, my gripe, is that you get characters and you make them assholes and not likable, and then you have them being chased by a killer. Why do I care? Why does he do that? Oh, the blood of Harry Warden. I'm passing my evil on to you, Tom. Ooh. Stay down, Harry! Harry said no! Wait, Harry just runs away? Okay. Tom will never be the same again. Tom? Tom. My name's also Tom. Oh, 10 years later. Okay. What's this town called? You said Humble? So it's not Valentine Bluffs anymore? I'm here with County Sheriff Axel Palmer who has this to say. He's Axel. His name's Axel. So there's no TJ. TJ. Tom. Tom is TJ. To mark the stupidest f***ing holiday a greeting card company ever invented. Sheriff? Wow. Hey, don't forget to pick up Noah's Hucker here tonight. Yeah, I'll take care of it. So they're together now. Oh, that makes sense. She, like, saved his life and he was looking at her some kind of way. You're gonna dump this bum and run away with me. I got off work at eight. Well, I'll be sure to tuck the top down on my Cadillac. Um, okay, Sheriff Debbie Downer. Well, 
asshole, gentlemen. See, this is Todd Farmer only knows how to write asshole, despicable, piece of shit, could never actually like them or care about them characters. Why do I care about the sheriff now? Why would you not just make them happy and not have adultery? Right into it. Right into her camel toe. Thank you. Can we meet in a motel next time? Yeah, why are you in this abandoned? Where are you? Where are, what is this? Maybe one day you'll tell your wife. No, you skinny bitch. You no ass having bitch. <laughs> to my axle. I, I didn't get you anything. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because you're just my, my side bitch, you know? I'm pregnant. Why would you think that was something he wanted? Kill her. I mean, she's pregnant. But kill her. I'm not interested in skinny, home-wrecking bimbos. What made the first film so amazing was there was like drama going on, you know. Sarah was with TJ, but then, you know, TJ left, so Sarah got with Axel, then TJ came back. Like, that was, that existed. That drama was there. But it seemed realistic. And all of the other characters were just so lovable. Even like when there was a sex scene, almost-ish, kind of. It was done with these two sweet characters, so it didn't seem gratuitous. It just seemed like, oh my gosh, like they're on their first date and like they're gonna whatever. And then they, I mean, one of them dies terribly. Rest in power, Sylvia. But that's kind of one of the main reasons that I love that movie so much. It's like you feel like you're a part of this small town community and then terrible things start happening. This one so far is not giving that. If you need to make peace with your daddy. There he is. Wow. And I'm selling mine. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Won't sit well with anyone in this town. Okay, well, I'm not staying. I'm moving. I'm not even... I don't live here. Ooh, you puppies. Get back here this oh, instant. Oh, hello. Yeah, I hear that Todd Farmer writing right now. Oh, yes! That is Todd Farmer. Of course, he would write himself into a sex scene in his own sleazy fucking movie. <laughs> Tom is a broken man. I mean, y'all left him to die. So, like, yeah. Well, I've got a two-day haul to make it in one day if I'm gonna get back by Valentine's. Thing started in Rome in like the year 500 or something. They would have this lottery where young men would draw teenage girls' names out of a box the whole rest of the year. That's where we got our Valentine's Day cards from. Another cheating. Yep, let's. Everyone's cheating on everyone and every. Yep, cool. Love these people. I am no hooker. You are now. Darling, you're not wearing any clothes. Frank, you son of a bitch! All right. Put some clothes on before some kid sees you. Shoot his tire. Oh, jeez! Oh, what? Good. Good. Yeah, get off my pickaxe. Left the door open and didn't call for help. <laughs> if she even was gonna leave her foot out. Mom, where are you? That that little lady was actually see, that's the thing. She only had two lines, but she seemed sweet as pie. So I'm worried for her. Imagine filling a movie with likable characters. No, no, I forgot your name. Just run, just run away. Don't kill her. No, she's in shock. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, you stupid bitch. Good. Get my axe back. Fuck you, what? To kill you. Jesus, Irene. 
Oh, come on, Irene. Was that the blonde from the beginning of the movie? So they just established that she turned into some, like, truck driving whore? Like, what, like, Jesus, Todd, what are you doing? How does he get to helm these franchise films? I'm sorry, I'm late again. I'm sleeping with your husband again. Have you talked to Axel? Maybe. Go stop the display. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Hi. Oh, Tom. Sarah. My long lost love. Your dad didn't even know where you were. We all started to think that you were dead. Oh, okay, so yeah. Because TJ left in the first movie, but he was gone for like a year or two? Not ten years. It's a beautiful family you have there. Mm. Megan, mind your fucking business. Hey, Sheriff, how was your day? Hmm, she calls him Sheriff, that's cute. I hated her in the Silent Night remake, so at least here, I'm semi-rooting for her as a human being. Oh no, not the, the high school photo in the lockbox. And the rom-com music, stop. It was Irene, she was murdered. Irene? Y'all should have stayed friends. Like that's kind of on you. Harry Warden, Harry Warden. It's not Harry Warden, he's dead, remember? Sheriff. Uh, when did he die? When did he, when did he die? Ferris, get me a glove. How did you, like, she just, she, how are her hands not, her hands aren't covered in blood. You already touched it, who cares now? I thought it was gonna be. Ed. Hey, Tom Atkins is back. The real sheriff of this town. The Hanniger kid. What the hell is he? The Hanniger kid. Relax, you and truck sucker. Hey! You tell him, old man. I mean, I'd sell the mine too, but. You were responsible. He wants you. I mean, he's not respon. Oh, see, he is responsible. Did he not check the methane levels? Mercury. Oh. Fight! 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 Harry's gonna kill you. You tell him, Tom Atkins. If they kill Tom Atkins in this movie, I will know that Todd Farmer is not a fan of actual horror movies, and he's actually trash. Not me. I know that. But then you, why but don't you, they blame you? Huh? Because you didn't check the methane, the mercury. You didn't check the shit. They would. They wouldn't have been landslide. Like the landslide wouldn't have brought them down. A time to you know, like they wouldn't have been trapped down there with Harry Warden if you had checked the shit. I think. I mean, I don't know because the opening was a little vague. What's wrong? Is it Noah? Noah's fine, but it's two in the morning. Yeah, it's two in the morning and you're watching loud porn. He's not the love of my life. No. Yeah, Axel, listen. You were very likable in the first movie. I loved Axel. When it turned out that Axel was the killer, I still wasn't even mad at him. So much I loved Axel. You are annoying and bitchy. Handsome, but bitchy. If Tom contacts you again, you let me know right away. I'm a grown woman and I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm a grown woman. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just me. Just me, you're a killer. Well, I don't think it's actually you. I think they want us to think it's you, but I think it's, well, in the first one, it's Axel. I don't know. They could maybe follow the first one or they could like not follow the first one. Like throw us, you know, catch us off guard. Don't you remember how much that mine used to mean to your family? I guess not. I do, but I hate my family. Watch out for coal trucks. You know what? I'm gonna go check on Tyler. Tyler says happy Valentine's Day. Don't you? No? Okay, he doesn't. Where's Ben? I need to talk to him. You can't. He's down in the mine. I'm going down. Like hell you are. Yeah, like hell you are. Ben will take you down. Wasn't he looking for Ben? Didn't he say, where's Ben? And now Ben's taking him down? Am I, am I, am I wrong? If he's looking, f that's Ben. Ugh, I don't know. I'll call for Ben. So now this is, this is not Ben. We're calling for Ben. Yeah. How many Bens are there? Oh, his name is Red. Oh! So we don't want him dead. 
we want him framed, maybe? Or is this like a split personality? And I- oh! Need my lie down. It's giving- it's giving my mental health is not, um, okay. Listen. You're not even gonna scream to help this guy? You're- you were- you didn't even be like, hey look out! He didn't say, hey look out, because it's him! <laughs> the music was cool, just then. Oh! Okay. He's- he's dead! At this point, I'd want to stay in there, that way when they found me, I was still locked in there. And can be like, you see, it's not me! But you're not yelling for help, either? Which is confusing me. You dead? Riggs? Yeah, he's dead. There's a hole in his head. What did you do? I didn't do anything. So say what happened. Say there is a man murdered, and you are you are literally giving nothing. You are giving nothing. We found Red. It was Harry Warden. Don't okay. Don't spread that shit. And he tried to kill me. Sir, please relax. Ma'am. I'm in the middle of a monologue. What were you doing in the mine? I was gonna tell Ben that I'm not selling it. And why the hell not? Let me just come out from behind this curtain. They killed Harry Warden. Axel. And Sheriff Burke covered it up. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna say, how the hell, like, he just left. In the beginning, he just, he just left. But it at least explains that. Give me more Tom Atkins, please. Sheriff, you really think that dangling a set of decade-old bones in town square is gonna... I hope he's not there. I hope he is not there. There's no way he could be alive. God damn it. This guy looks familiar, and the guy who's playing Ben looks familiar. Doing at the mine earlier. I was doing my job. Do not, do not. Tom, don't. You know she settled for you, right? <sighs> what did you just say to me? Sarah. You heard me. Settled for you. Get the fuck away from my wife! You hear me? Get the fuck away! The, I'll show you how angry I am by flipping this table. Somebody else was down there. <laughs> see? Good, see? You're trying to get out of that cage. I told you, stay in the cage. That's your alibi. I'm betting he finds you. Or you. Shit. Or are you, Ben. Who that is? You already flashed your light at that light. They already know you're there. Run, Tom, run. No, not toward the light. Tell her to go to the light. No! I will say, though, this is probably a lot more fun in 3D. I'm watching it just like generic. I'm sure the ridiculousness of the 3D shit would be a lot of fun. Is this the, is this the house where he's the sheriff is cheating on his wife? Because what does this house have to do? Is this Harry Warden's house? I hope you find the sheriff cheating. <sighs> the stupid loud jump scares. Oh no, Ben. I don't hate Ben. I don't hate Ben and I don't hate, and I like, I love Tom Atkins. But I feel like Ben's about to meet his demise. He looks so familiar. Guys, where do I know him from? Tell me in the comments what I know this man from. <laughs> the 3D of it all. Done. <gasps> oh! No, Ben! That's not Harry Ward. What is you? No, it's not. No! Ben! I don't want this. Here it comes. Damn, Ben. Tom is the only one with that on alibi. Tom said somebody else is Jesus! He's not the only one without an alibi. Your people told you that he was locked in a cage when the last guy died. I'm sorry. Sheriff. What is- I'm sorry. Shut up, Sheriff. We found Ben. Oh, they just found Ben. Oh, was Ben missing and now Ben's body is like put on display somewhere. Where's Ben? Oof.
My God. I will say this movie did not hold back on the gore. Uh, a mopping and bacon nail. It was Valentine's Day. None of your business. No one on Harry Warden killed everyone. Axel was the one that was there for me. But he's not anymore. Megan. Did you look up the front? Yes. No, you didn't. You're so fucking bad at your job, Megan. You're just bad at existing as a human being. Them moving so slowly is making me impatient. Move faster. Leave. Bye. Like, not staying. <laughs> Megan's got the right idea. Salami. Oh, gosh. Okay, Megan. All right. Yeah, Megan, you can keep sleeping with Axel. You're the only one that's <laughs> just screaming. Okay. Why would your face ever be against that door? Well, shit. Megan. Ah! Well, Megan, by the time you unlock it, he's probably gonna walk around and, like, snatch you. Go! Let Megan go! He's, she's gonna die in a second. You should've let her go, Sarah. That's your fault. Stop it. Could you have done that before? My mind is blown. My mind is blown. Sarah, stay back. You don't want to what? see this. Stay back. You know what? I said stay back. Carnage candy. Megan was annoying and a home wrecker, but she was like the only one like putting up a fight, you know? Now we're just stuck with Sarah in Final Destination. Maybe the killer was just trying to get to you. What are you talking about? I'm not blind, Axel. I'm not blind, Axel. Well, then, bitch, why did you stay with him? Why would you stay with him? This small town fucking loves gossip. You could be like, my adulterous husband is sleeping with Megan, and they would easily turn on him. They already hate him, it seems. Like, I need there to be a, a, a twist. It seems pretty apparent that it's either the sheriff or Tom. I would love... Maybe this boy's the killer. <laughs> Even the nanny. here, inside the house. Tom Atkins, how do you know that? Okay. I mean, you're right. But how do you know that? Are you a neighbor? Was he, was he, okay, no, you know what, it's fine. Shut up. Listen to Tom Atkins. I'm finally in suspense, but it's simply because Tom Atkins is on screen and alone. Noah, speak up. These characters, like, not saying that clear as kind. Hashtag clear as kind. Communicate. I thought Tom Atkins was gonna shoot me. Stay hidden, okay? Don't come out until I come and get you, no matter what. That's not smart. That's not smart. Come with me, we're leaving. Are you a cop? What the f Don't kill Tom Atkins. No! Todd Farmer, you stupid fucking moron! The disrespect. The disrespect! Granted, that was a cool death. I just got that report in on Tom Hanniger. You're gonna want to hear this. Well, say it. You know Axel owns land up here? Yeah. It's his daddy's old place. Been there lately? Axel's dad's old place? Oh, that's what, that's the house. Okay. I know I've been horrible to you, and I'm sorry, okay? 
You can leave me if you want, but just get out of the car, please. Sarah, get out of the car. Oh, thanks for checking in on it, Mom. That is pretty convincing. But I still think you're a killer. I need to get home to my son. Don't you trust me? Take me home. Damn it, Sarah, I need you oh, to God. understand. Sarah, that's not smart. We're gonna die. Seemed pretty stupid for her to grab the wheel of the car and blind- and she grabbed the wheel- she grabbed the wheel and then like put her- her head down so that she couldn't even see where they were going? Ah! I mean, I genuinely don't know who it is, so finally, let's- well, he looks so angry though. Axel looks so angry. It's Axel. I think so. Is that background CGI? Is she like a green screen? They couldn't just put her in the woods? I don't think you need a key because what's his face walked right in earlier today. Be mine forever. And that's what was written above her body. It's your hubby. I think. Axel! Oh! My pretty face! No, don't leave the phone! She left the phone. She left her flip phone! Did they Uno reverse card us? Where they're like making it very obvious it's Axel, but now we're gonna find out it actually was Tom? Oh, the clothes and stuff hanging is from the front. I, I wish that they would have spent more time in the mine. Sarah, I've been working the past 72 hours. When would I have time to play psycho? You're the sheriff, Axel. How did you know that Megan was dead? You told me. No, I didn't. It is Tom. How do you know about the words written on the wall? Tim. Terry. Oh, Tom is a little crazy. Sarah, shoot him! He's right there! There's nobody else here! He's right there! Shoot him! Sarah, you gotta shoot him! Shoot him now! Shoot him! Tom. I don't think we needed uh, this flashback. We could figure it out. Ew, it's probably so dirty. I hope you cleaned it first. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, it was me. You living inside, Tom? Oh, I'm right here. Jeez. Wait, why is this happening? She had a, she had a gun pointed at Tom. Am I supposed to care that these two are fighting? They're both kind of annoying. Oh, Sheriff is, she's, she's still holding the gun and just not shooting. If I were him, I'd be so annoyed with her. Remember all the times you, you could have shot him and you didn't? Cause I do. Oh, that was cool. I like the, the flash of, of Harry. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah, so like, just shoot him in the head and be done with this. Damn. Just bring back Tom Atkins. Bye, Tom. Can you tell me your name? Tom's dead. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. If the search party found you, they would have also been the same search party that... that just got killed by t Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Fine. I love you. you both don't love each other. Shut up. At this point, good for you, Tom. Yeah, go go live your life out as Harry Warden someplace else. Well, I mean, why would you take the mask off right there? They're looking for you. The credits go through the mines. That's cool. He shows up again in slow motion.
Okay, so we did it. We watched My Bloody Valentine, the remake from 2009. Did I love it? No, but that's fine. That's just my opinion. This was, this was not my cup of tea. The violence was there in spades. Cool. The gore was great. Loved seeing Tom Atkins. Always. Give me more Tom Atkins. Always. But the characters fell flat. The pacing was weird. I don't know. It just, it just didn't mesh for me. I did love that they changed the twist at the end though. So I was really on the edge of my seat. Is it gonna be Axel? Is it gonna be Tom? But overall, I don't see myself ever watching that movie again. And that's okay. If I want a Valentine's Day themed horror film, I will gladly watch the original or I'll watch Valentine from 2001. And that movie we just watched recently together. And I'll put the link up above and of course in the description down below. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. Meet me in the comments. Even though I didn't love this movie, I still want to talk about it. I, I, I wouldn't have watched it with you all if I didn't want to talk about it. For those of you who don't love this movie, tell me why. For those of you who do you love this movie also tell me why so thank you for watching i am shut up james happy valentine's day goodbye